Well, day one of the 188th semi-annual general conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints brought a big announcement about Sunday church meetings, which will soon be shortened to a two-hour block. News for Utah's Andrew Reeser is covering the conference and has today's highlights. The announcement comes after weeks of speculation among church members, kicking off a very busy first day of general conference. The rumors were true. I was really excited. Church meetings each Sunday shortened to two hours, ending a decades-long practice of three-hour church. The change, beginning in 2019, aims to allow families less time in a meeting house and more time together in their own house. We trust you to counsel together and to seek revelation for implementing these adjustments while not looking beyond the mark or trying to regiment individuals or families. LDS sacrament meetings will come first, followed by a 10-minute transition to class, then Sunday school and auxiliary meetings on a rotating monthly schedule. Members at conference, especially younger members, rejoiced. I'm really excited, actually. Um, it's going to make going to church a lot uh, quicker and better. But church leaders insist... The Sunday meeting schedule was not simply shortened. The main goal is to keep gospel teaching home-centered and church-supported, rolling out a new curriculum for home scripture study called Come, Follow Me. I feel like it uh, really will help um, foster better questions and better discussions at home. President Dallin H. Oaks, first counselor in the first presidency of the church, reiterated the church's stance against same-sex marriage and its position on gender identity. The mission of his restored church is to help the children of God achieve the supernal blessing of exaltation in the celestial kingdom, which can only be attained through an eternal marriage between a man and a woman. His remarks drawing mixed reaction from members and critics of the church's policies. And for the first time, the general priesthood session, attended primarily by men, was replaced with the general women's conference, which will now rotate with priesthood session semi-annually. No one else can do what a righteous woman can do. President Russell M. Nelson urging women to speak up in church meetings, add their perspective, and challenge them to take a fast from social media. The 188th semi-annual general conference will continue Sunday morning. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, News 4, Utah. Stick with News for Utah for complete coverage of conference, both here on air and online at goodforutah.com.